All right, here it is, 2002 Coleman Bayside Grand Tour. I think it's the Grand Tour Elite, which is a mouthful for a pop-up camper, but it's suited for this thing. This thing is massive. I think the, fold it out, the like 27 and a half feet by seven and a half. That's pretty big for a pop-up. And the first thing I noticed when I went inside this was, oh my gosh, this thing's huge. AC works very, very well. Blast cold air. Current owner said that you will freeze yourself out of here pretty quick if you're not careful. Hey, excuse the mess over here. I'm finishing up some projects. It's big, big storage here. I got some pictures of that, but you have in here, you have um, some accessories, but you have your your uh, jack and corner jack stand, so you can level this thing out once you get on site. <clears throat> Say, so this is the slide out that I've never seen on a pop-up. I'm pretty naive to pop-ups, I guess, but having this big slide out is nice. I wanna take a minute to show you guys the underneath of this thing, because it is so clean. All the wood is great. Look at the wood on the slide out and the steel. The edges aren't perfect, but they still slide out great. No issues there. It's really just cosmetic, but all the, the nuts and bolts here on this thing, the water lines are so clean. These tires are virtually brand new. This one over here, this would be the driver's side tire, still has a sticker on it. I made a video of this thing popping up. I'll, I'll try to post these together, but <clears throat> all the four corners crank smoothly, no issues. All the brackets work besides this is the only one I noticed has um, this cable. And you could probably replace that with something else, but it works, it's functional. That's the only kind of hiccup I've seen with the, the tie downs. Trailer hitch is good shape. Tongue hitch has been greased. It comes with the um, trailer receiver as well. Trailer, ball hitch rather. Plug is in good shape. That works. We tested all the lights already. So this storage bin is huge. Huge, huge. So when you open the door, when you go to pop this thing up, this bottom stair folds down. And then you take the door out from the inside and you put the door in, which is pretty easy. Open it up. I should have turned the lights out on this thing. That's okay. Look how big this thing is. It's so stinking wide open. This flooring is so nice in this. I really like the color the previous owners painted it as well. It's hard to get it in this light. I got the I got all the lights on inside the shop, but it's almost. It's almost like a like a French gray or something. I can't I can't really put my put put a name on that color. <clears throat> but I really like this color. I know that shelf drawer comes with it. I think it's inside there. This is the AC I mentioned. The owner say is freezing cold. This works very, very well. I like this. The lamp. I like lamp. That's really nice though. <clears throat> kind of kitchenette seating here this sleeps eight you heard me right sleeps eight you got this bench here which is really nice a little mini refrigerator electrical you got this little bench here this bed it's very large got a light here that light and that light this is storage down here. Yeah, lots of storage. Little storage here too. Yes, even more storage. This is nice. Like a little hamper here. You got yourself a little mirror. Like I said, the drawer for this comes with it. It's just not in here right now. This sink is really nice. Got big butcher's block. These go to the front. This is for the locks up front. Really nice butcher block. 
take notice of this plastic because so often this is the plastic here so often this plastic it's like discolored and gross this one's really clean you can see through it really easily <clears throat> this is really nice another little window here it's so easy to feel claustrophobic in smaller rvs but this one has so much outside windows this is great you got privacy curtains up here that's really nice it's a nice touch this big giant bed and it comes with um this blanket everything that's here comes with it but this blanket and then this blanket you can tell i put it on because i didn't put it on right but <clears throat> um it, it's a sheet and blanket or whatever it might be do they i don't know i'm not a linen guy but it fits it's fitted for the mattresses and, it, and they're both really clean look really nice here's um, some more privacy towel rods so you can put up more privacy I, again i keep talking about how tall this thing is i am 6'4 i lied in the last video so i'm 6'7 i'm 6'4 and i still have room lots of room which is super rare in an rv especially a pop-up tons and tons of space this table's really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and take a seat. And we don't have any of the jack stands on this or anything. It's just the, the trailer's down, the trailer winch is down, and it's not moving, it's not jumping around, it's well balanced. I really like this. It's really, really clean inside. You know, I don't see any signs of leaks. Like I said, it was stored inside for the past, I think, three or four years. <clears throat> The owners of this um, used it a pretty fair amount after they put a lot of time and money into the restoration of it. And they're only selling it because they upgraded to a more full-size RV that they like. They also rent it on um, Outdoorsy. But this one has not one, been one of their rentable units. This is one that they owned previous. Again, really, really nice. Look at all this open room you have with that slide out. You know, it's such a bummer when you get stuck in a camper or an RV and it's raining and then you're stuck inside. I have no issue being stuck inside this pop-up for a day or two. Imagine playing some cards here, enjoying some breakfast. This is the one that has the outside kitchenette which I have never used, but in my research, I know that this one has the outside kitchenette. I'm gonna close the door and show you that that works just great. Got your door, no problems. And it even has a lock on it, which is cool. I like this little step it has. That's nice, and it's a floating step, which is really cool. You got big supports on the pullout, spare tires looks to be in good condition. There's the crank, so if you're not familiar, that's the crank that cranks this whole deal up and down. It looks like at one time it was backed into something. You have a bumper that's just not perfectly aligned there. And there seems to be a crack on this corner. Otherwise it's in really good shape. Got your plugins here and the plug into shore power. I have pictures of the roof before I cranked it up. It's, it's in really good shape. Really, really nice unit. Like I said, this is the slide out. This is where the kitchenette is. Again, look how clear these, this one even has the mesh on it. But like I said, usually these windows are all discolored and gross or like they get, they get pinched, I think they call it. You know, when you have that vinyl that gets folded the wrong way and it gets pinched and cracked. There's none of that in these. It's really nice. Got your waters here. Assuming this one might be the generator. Oh, to storage. Okay. Vents are good. This is nice. Really cool unit. I really like it. It's again, really big for a pop-up. See full size of it. bigger pan around it this thing's pretty big i really really like it give me a call if you have any questions again 2002 bayside fleetwood with the slide out 
down here in sunny, beautiful Rossville, Georgia. Fire extinguisher, everything that is here comes with this beautiful unit. I'm just gonna do one more pan around on the inside. It's so nice. I might sleep in this tonight. I really like it. Give me a call if you have any questions, if you wanna schedule a tour. I'm not too far from Chattanooga. Close to 75, so all you travelers that are coming in, uh, we can pull off right 75 and get you into this unit. Number again, 541-639-1124-2002, Bayside Elite Fleetwood Coleman pop-up camper. Sleeps eight and looks great. Have a fantastic day.